beloved people of god i am focused for today is thine be the glory with the tune Maccabeus. but thanks be to god he gives us the victory through our lord jesus christ first corinthians chapter 15 verse 57 in the ancient world no celebration was considered more glorious than the march of triumphant returning warriors through their capital city. Many visual depictions have been made of the victorious Roman soldiers in the early centuries, marching proudly through the streets of Rome, leading captive slaves and hearing the boisterous approval of cheering admirers. Christ our Savior fought the greatest battle against the prince of this world and all his legions. Our Lord returned triumphant to his father, having conquered not only sin, death and the grave, but Satan and hell also. Hallelujah. Now he sits at the father's right hand as the ruler of his kingdom and our personal advocate before God. But the day of our celebration is just ahead. One can picture with imagination the procession that will occur in heaven when the captain of our faith, Christ himself, leads his bride, the church, through the heavenly portals amidst the shouts and songs of praise and glory to the risen conquering Son. Thine be the glory was originally written in 1884 in French by Edmond Baudry, a pastor in Vivi, Switzerland, reported after the death of his first wife. It was first published in Chant Evangelicus in Lausanne, Switzerland, 1885. Nearly 40 years later, it was translated into English by Richard Hoy and appeared in the Cantate Domino Hymna, used by World Student Christian Federation. Baudry studied theology in Lausanne, Switzerland, and pastored at Colley and at St. Quire, 1881-1889. He then became pastor of the Free Church in Vivi, Switzerland, for 35 years more. Retiring in 1923, Besides writing original hymns, he translated Jamna, German, English, and Latin lyrics into French. Some of his works appeared in Chants Evangelicus, Lausanne, Switzerland, 1885. It is possible that an Advent hymn by Frederick Heinrich Ranke. 1798 to 1876, using the same tune by Handel, and published in Evangelisch Geschambord for Elas Lotrigen, could have been the basis for Dying Be the Glory. Edmund died in November 12, 1932 in Vivi, in Switzerland. Dearly beloved of God, as we celebrate our Lord Jesus Christ, victory over death on the cross of Calvary, let us sing the song, Thine be the glory, risen conquering son, endless is the victory, thou art death as one. God bless you and do have a blessed week.